IPEX1 for Android, User Settings. This is an introduction to the user settings included in IPEX1 for Android users. Before we start, please make sure you've downloaded the app, that you have logged in for the first time using the credentials or QR code that would have been sent to you in your welcome email. Once logged in, you will come to your home screen. You'll be able to see your contacts, as well as tabs for your calls and chats. For this video, we want to look at the settings. So look at the top left hand corner of the screen and tap on the three horizontal bars. From this menu, you can see your name, your extension number and a range of options. Tap on the arrow under your extension number and then tap on my information. This takes you through to all of the information relating to you as a user, from your name to your extension and work numbers to other information about your role. Using the pencil icon in the top right hand corner, you can edit the information on this page. The first piece of information you can change is your profile picture. You can either add a new photo through your camera or choose an existing one from your phone's library. You can also change your status message and your job title through the screen. Pressing the back arrow once will take you to the user information screen and then again will bring you back into the home screen. Expanding the horizontal bar list from the top left hand corner once again will present some more options to you. Use the arrow next to your extension number to access your status settings. From here, you can set whether you want to be seen by your colleagues as online, busy or not to be disturbed. Here you can also toggle whether you want to receive notifications through your app. This menu is also used to set a call forward. Currently, an extension number is listed as the forward recipient. There are two options for users here. You can either type in a phone number for calls to be forwarded to, or search for a colleague through the cloud search tool. We've selected Mark here, and have set the application to forward calls to him. There are also options in terms of how calls are forwarded. You can either unconditionally forward calls, which sends you all calls to the forward recipient, or you can set it so calls are only forwarded when your status is set to busy. This screen also allows you to tell the app whether or not anonymous calls should be automatically rejected. More detailed options are included at the bottom of the screen. As a user, you will very rarely need any of the options featured here. Though if you are asked to check settings by a technician, this is where you should look. The most commonly used features within this group are notifications and network settings. These will allow you to decide whether you want your phone to respond audibly or vibrate when you receive a notification, and also whether IPEX1 is allowed to operate over cellular data. It is worth bearing in mind that you could incur charges if data is left on. This completes our look at the user settings of IPEX1. 